mukama afu mu lugye bazwe praise the lord jesus tubaniriza kulingira ya mukama afu yesu welcome in the name of our lord jesus christ we want to thank god who has kept you and who has kept us too we return all the glory and honor to him in the name of Jesus. That's our prayer. Today we are here again. We are starting to teach about the change of the generation. And we are starting from the change Today we are starting on the introduction to the change of the generation and the system of the tree of life. Let me first of all read the scripture which concerns or which is talking about the tree of life. We are opening Revelations chapter 22 from verse 1 to verse 21. Nanda kwa mbubu wa maza kubula mbubu wa masama sanya ya mbubu wa mbubu wa mbubu ya katonda no mana wendika. Wakati uo lukudu rache lwineli uo mbubu wa 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 and he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of nations. I'm coming from the Praise the Lord. <coughs> The Bible is talking about the tree of life. And also it's talking about the throne of God and of the Lamb. Where the, the water of life was proceeding from. This generation which we are talking about. God planned when he was with his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. When the world was in the midst of confusion. Because when you try to take around or investigate, you discover that the world and the church, they are, both of them are in confusion. Talking about the, God decided to reveal the system which is the river of life. Because when you receive the word, that is the word that brings life. And he said that on both sides of the river, there are trees of life. When he was concluding, he mentioned it as one tree and a tree of healing nations. There we discover that the tree there represents us, the born again, or the churches. Through us, Christ is going to operate, teaching us this, the system of, of the end time. The one of the 12 principles. Those are the 12 principles. And that very one is the medicine for healing all nations. Because all nations are in confusion, they are all going to use one system to heal all of us from the different problems and sicknesses. But the one who will be healing is Jesus Christ. That is the word of God. And that is the tree of life. Because it's Jesus who gives life. But Christ will work in within us who are born again. Jesus will not just be in the air to work. Praise the Lord. When he's talking about healing all nations in this chapter, in this last book of the Bible, 
No person is going to be healed from heaven. There is no need of healing in heaven. Praise the Lord. Here he was meaning as the, as the world is still is on or is operating that he's going to introduce a last generation which we are introducing to you today which is operating by the system of the tree of life but this is not the only generation that has let's first of all talk about the changes of generation a generation means a generation means a change in time and the changes changes in the system the example the example Garamba, Mulembe Guacavaca Sauro, Mulembe Guacavaca Daudi, O Guanua, Nava Colembeza Balala, Avali Baba Deum. The changes in the system goes along, changes of, of a generation comes along with the changes of the system. We give an example of the generation of Saul, that of David, Noah, and other leaders. Come on, Praise the Lord Jesus. And you got your cup. The changes of times and changes of what is needed is what makes a generation. Praise the Lord. We say that there was a generation of David. That generation came with some changes and what came with it. Remember what Saul to have a hope one is a good ginger. In the generation of so there was there was no need of fighting with the stone. But there was a change that it was a it was a stone that killed the Philistine. Praise the Lord Jesus. Saul was just became a king without any fighting. But the, the, the kingship of David came with the war. But now the kingship of his son Solomon came with an assignment of building the temple. All those are representing the short generation. When we, we look at the, the generation of Noah, the generation of Noah came into existence when the ark was built. The generation of Adam came into existence when the ark was built. The generation of Adam came into existence when the ark was built. The generation of Adam was using the tree of life and the tree of life was the one having salvation but for that one it was a physical or it was in a flesh but the one now has come and it is a, a spiritual kind of tree of life the world began with a tree of life and the very world will end with a tree of life that's why the bible say, says that God is the Alpha and the Omega. And Jesus is saying that He is the beginning and the end. But when you focus at the generation of Noah, you see that it has a lot of changes of the kind of salvation and the salvation was the ark. And the ark was the Jesus Christ that was saving the people who were believing him. And the, and the one of the generation of Adam, the tree of life was the Christ that was saving the people, those who were submitting to him. Praise the Lord Jesus. And 
now, during the generation of David, the stone that was used to kill the Philistine, it was Jesus who came to to save the people from the attack of the Philistine. The person who cannot understand the spiritual matters cannot understand that the tree that was in the garden was Christ. Cannot understand that the ark of Noah was Christ. Cannot cannot also not understand that the stone that David used to kill the Philistine was Christ. When we look at Moses, Moses came with a rod, and that rod was representing Christ. That's why at one time they used the the very road and it was risen up and it, 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 it became like a snake Neda. and people were Neda. 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 they made a bronze snake Neda. 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 and that bronze snake was representing Christ that was healing the people Neda. 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 that's why the Bible is revealing that the, the operations of Jesus Christ have been from the beginning that's why when you explain to the people that this is a new generation now they will ask that Jesus already came now which kind of new generation is this? Jesus was there from the beginning even at creation and that and he's the word of God he just came in the flesh praise the Lord Jesus hallelujah hallelujah when we focus on all those generations we have mentioned, you discover that they all came with some changes. Praise the Lord Jesus. And every generation having a different kind of operational system. And those kinds of systems they were coming with, they were the very ones that were bringing salvation to the people. It wasn't Noah at that time, time that became Christ. Noah, for him, he was an evangelist and Christ was the ark. Adam the, the time of, of Adam, he wasn't the Christ, though he too can be called Christ because he's our, our grandfather. But Christ was the other tree in the garden that uh, in the garden of okay. Eden. Most people think that uh, God was just starting. The gospel just started from the beginning. God told Adam the, the gospel and he told him to share the gospel with his children and his children. The, like God telling him that you should not eat on the tree of life or do not make this error. That one was meaning making an error. Moving away from the, the rules and the laws. And they are proceeds out a curse. Come on, Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To the banana to cook up to the way I can see or to the middle of your feet. Now you do call it what? I just guns up to get a and Gemiaka and Kumi Bini to give my Timmy and baby Nidhi. From the generation of the ass to the time that no one lived. From the creation of the earth mm. to the time where we are now, what, what they are, they are, they are. there has been long generations, and they, they, they are all they are based on the the, the the period of time. And that the years and those years are two thousand. Those are now known the long generation. They are also the short generations. 
the short generations they are based on leaders. Banabi. They are based on prophets. Abantu ne bisera. All the people. We ba kule imberi ya we ba tumirwa. The people and the, the season, the time they are sent or they are sent. Mkama munu yeba. Praise the Lord. Mkama munu yeba. Mkama munu yeba. When we talk about this generation of the tree of life. Mkama munu yeba. 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 It is also a generation. But it is a generation that we are counting within the generation of Jesus Christ after dying for us. But after Jesus had died, they have lived 2,000 years and now this other generation also started. So we call it from the time Jesus was born to start the generation of Jesus. But even the other, the other one is because of ignorance. Though we call it the generation of Noah. But it was also a generation of Christ. Praise the Lord Jesus. That this short generation can also be there. But within the short generation, there are also some other different generations. After the 2,000 years after Jesus rose from the dead, this generation had also had also to be given. That's why people were saying that the end time is coming. It was the end or the end time of the other two thousand years. And also that kind of system of that time. In the year 2001, there has to start a new generation. And that generation was to begin with this system. Praise the Lord Jesus. That's why God gave me grace and he got born again in, the, in 1999. And he called me so fast in two ministries. In the year 2002, I had already begun ministry. Then, as I got born again, I got born again in, in 2000. I, I got born again in 1999. And God started revealing to me that this generation has fallen. I was a young Christian, but the words God was speaking to me were for mature Christians. God was speaking to me were for mature Christians. And they started ministry just after a few years in the year 2002. And they started ministry just after a few years in the year 2002. They are from 1999. To 2000. When the other generation was ending, God already had started teaching me some things that I could visibly know, even though I had not started teaching that. Those things they were not yet very much established in me. When I started moving on, talking to them, past, our pastors that side of Goma Mukono. Ngao, biyo gera tebi tegere kikavala ba mu kwata tegere tete tegere kambi ayogera. The things I was sharing with them, they would say that I was there was something wrong with me. I'm talking things which are not understood. Since the pastor didn't know Musango, I cannot judge them. Wa ma so sanga gari gaziba tega gaba zibu tu atwenza tegera bino. You might find that God had just covered them up. They could not understand these words. They are bewildered ones. Those words had only been given to them. They are bewildered ones. The things I was telling them were so so difficult. They were looking like false 
Teaching. But God has given us grace. Slowly but slowly, the generation is being revealed. We have testimony as people are moving around and saying that is true. The generation has backslidden. But the problem they have that every generation has got a person that God has assigned to begin it. When a generation, the generation backslid during the time of Gideon, it was Gideon who was given to start. There was no any other person. God gave him grace and he started training his friends. It was Noah who was given grace. Now, but the people who don't know the deeper things to understand the Bible, and also some of those who are proud, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You hear them saying that uh, the generation only given to, to only that person. The truth is that we have to inform you. When the generation ends, God has to get out one person who he empowers. God empowers and entrusts a grace and a teaching to that person to guide them to teach other people to take the generation forward. But for the people who do not submit to learn properly, even if they try to copy the things, they, they cannot do anything. We take an example of the of the sons of Seche. When they were copying, the demons themselves they told him that we are not Paul. We also know Jesus. Jesus called Paul. Paul and Paul was given an assignment to the Gentiles. What they were trying to copy, they were just stricken by the very Come on, Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And even unto those who will not submit themselves that we teach them the system of this generation. The demons will continue tearing them up. Because the demons will continue tearing them up. This generation, it is situation now that are oppressing the people. Praise the Lord. As I said, we are going to be teaching about the change of the changes of the generation. But we shall be learning to discover that there are short generation and long generation. As we said, that the long generation, those ones are counted on the basis of the, of the period, and that is 2000. And the short ones can be of some years uh, as it depends. Depending on how the people would go back to settle, especially the Israel. To why you we also have a generation of Joseph. Some of those that were born before him, God had to bring famine so that Joseph can come and rule the world. Let me speak out this prophecy. When the system of the tree of life died in the Garden of Eden, God had to resurrect it in this last generation. Praise the Lord Jesus. When the generation of Saul fell, they has to arise the generation of David. Praise the Lord Jesus. Because the one of Saul was not in line with the plan of God. When the book of the law 
was so when, when, the, the, when the scrolls were destroyed they had to make another another law. So they had to make 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 another law. So they they say that now Jesus came back. Jesus was to come and return the other that was original. <inaudible> That's why they question that how was it from the beginning? That the woman, a man was to marry one wife. The system was a tree of life. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we continue, the, the law broke in the hands of Moses because of sin. Then God told him, go back and we make another one. Now we move on to, to Egypt. Africa. Egypt, which is Africa. The one that God had to, ex uh, to elevate from the beginning. Praise the Lord. You see that it is it is Egypt that helped the children of Israel. It is from Egypt that they got wealth. Praise the Lord. And you also see that it is Egypt where even Joseph had to run and he was given it to be in charge of food for the world to be delivered. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Also Moses had to go to Egypt. And he was also kept or hidden in the river in Egypt. Even Jesus was was hidden in Egypt. Praise the Lord. Because Egypt was the very first that was that was uh, known. With all that God used Egypt to do. Though it was also living in Egypt. God still comes back to Egypt to, to ask the blacks. Africa. And God is meaning Africa. Though Egypt was there, but what God is bringing out is Africa. Praise the Lord Jesus. It is where God has come back to begin the work from in order to cleanse the world again. Praise the Lord. When we shall be sharing about the generation as we continue to expand them and also teaching about this generation of the tree of life after you have got enlightenment knowing that generations they are those of 2000 years they are also those generations of shorter years. Praise the Lord. Some of those generations where we find those of Paul's, they are the, the apostles and others. And I was also, go, I got born again in that, in the, in the old generation. But when God is, when the Bible is talking about this generation, the Bible is saying that Christ is going to rule with us for a thousand years. That's why you hear God saying that He created a world in six days. Then on the seventh day He rested. Then you hear when you read about Noah, you see that they are talking about the six thousand. Praise the Lord. And He's counting the other one, the, the, the seven days and the seven years. And He's counting the seven the, the years. The the for us, we talk about the Bible. We are not interpreting it in the wisdom of God. For this tree of life that is for healing nations is the one that would go the seventh year, the year of rest. The when the tree of life is going to be in the seventh year, the year of rest. 
the entire world is going to have rest and is going to be healed and get peace. Because even at the beginning, the world wants to be ruled by God. This is amazing. It has come back that the system is one and it is for healing nation. The one getting born again and the one who is not born. Everyone has got to obey one system. And that system is in the garden. Where is the new Eden? And the garden is the ministry of new Eden. Why you can't say a priest? Oh, it is the, the church of Christ. This time, healing is not going to come from the shrine. It's not going to come from the weapons of war. Not from medicine. Not from money. Not from religion. Ah. No. Healing is going to come from the system of the children. Christ and that is Jesus Christ. And this, the operation of the system is of the 12 principles. With those words, I pray that the Lord.